Many couples who are living with HIV or other sexually transmitted infections do not know they are infected. Many couples think that because they are in a steady relationship, they don't need to worry. Other couples know that they need to be safe, but they don't always know the best way to do it. On top of this, most couples have a hard time talking about sex, STIs, and other relationship type issues. The CONNECT intervention helps couples by educating them about their options and helping them to communicate with each other. We designed the intervention in 1997 and we uh, have the final findings in 2001. I'm very delighted and excited to say that the findings are very powerful. We have been able to reduce HIV risk behavior among uh, 217 couples. And I would like to mention that this is the first HIV prevention intervention for heterosexual couples in the nation. And it to, it's important to highlight that, that there are several features of the intervention that I believe they were innovative and creative. CONNECT is different from other HIV and STI prevention interventions because it's couple-based. With male and female partners together, the facilitator has an opportunity to assist them to do a much more realistic appraisal of their risk and they have an opportunity to talk together about specifically the gender and the power contexts in which the risk behavior occurs in their relationship. CONNECT is a relationship-based intervention. It teaches couples skills to enhance the quality of their relationship, communication, and shared commitment to safety and health. The program is based on the AIDS risk reduction model, which organizes behavior change into three phases, recognize risk, commit to change, and act on strategies, and on the ecological perspective, which emphasizes the personal, relational, and societal influences on behavior. CONNECT is also influenced by counseling techniques used at the Ackerman Institute for the Family, which allow couples to harness their strengths and resources and to work together to solve shared problems. So we've been doing evidence-based interventions for a while now, but we've never done something specifically for couples. And CONNECT is, you know, the first thing that we've done. And it really helps to fill a gap, a need in services, something where couples can really be together and work on the issues that they have together. In some cultures, uh, a man is really the one who's, who's in charge of making decisions about sex in, in a couple's relationship. And in these cases, really when we have a woman going through an intervention alone, it's really difficult for her to go through that intervention, um, uh, learn new information, bring it back to her partner, and then begin asking for what she wants and, and new changes to their relationship. Um, I think that an, an intervention where a couple is learning and making decisions together about their relationship is much more appropriate. The CONNECT intervention is made up of six hour and a half sessions over a six week period. A trained facilitator works closely with the couple to develop better communication and negotiation skills as well as to learn HIV risk reduction behaviors. Each member of the couple is screened separately to determine whether the partnership is a safe one and makes a contract to finish the remaining five sessions. The couple is very involved in every session. One of the first things covered are the goals of the program. The facilitator works with the couple to help them understand what the purpose of the intervention is and to agree to some guidelines. The rest of the sessions focus on teaching key concepts about STIs, risk, communication skills, and protecting each other and the relationship. After the first two sessions, it's like everything clicks and the couples, they want to come back in and take the time to work through these issues together and talk about them. Couples are taught about HIV and other STIs, what they are, how they are transmitted, and what their level of risk is. This way, the couple can understand how they can protect themselves better. This couple is ranking their current sexual activities on a risk chart to see where they stand and where they would like to be in the future. The facilitator works with them every step of the way, discusses their choices, and answers their questions. 
The couples felt like this was a way to expose themselves. Um, it was a way to bring out things that was locked inside that they might have been scared to share with, with the other one. Um, it, it was a way to get them to communicate with one another. The best thing about Connect For Me is teaching couples the speaker-listener technique. This technique teaches couples about speaking with each other but also listening to their partner. Seeing the video and seeing the couples do it on the different subjects help them to know it's possible. It's a skill that can be perfected and what they what they kept telling me was, we're going to have to practice this. This we'll have to practice to do it over, you know, to be able to do it because we're not used to this. It made them look at the fact that in their communication with each other, they don't really listen to each other. The backbone of this intervention is better communication. By watching vignettes and practicing, the couple learns to communicate using the speaker-listener technique. They learn to really listen to what their partner says by summarizing what they hear before responding. The facilitator guides them through the process. Okay. I feel frustrated sometimes when I ask you to come to bed with me and you say no. Okay, so you're saying that you feel frustrated when you want to go to bed with me and I don't want to. Well, yeah, I mean, you used to want to a whole lot more, and now you say no and you make excuses. Okay, so you're saying that I used to want to have more sex with you before and now I'm making more excuses. Yeah. Okay, can I have the floor, please? I feel that if I say no to you, I'm disappointing you. Seeing the video was very helpful because you got the opportunity to see exactly what I was looking for them to do. It gave them opportunity to see people, couples, listening to each other. And, and that, I think, was more important or, or kind of what registered more than my telling them the instructions. The Connect Intervention has a comprehensive training manual and a state-of-the-art interactive training component. The multimedia training component enables wider dissemination and access to the program. It was created to make the training process more accessible. It is also a great way for facilitators to give themselves booster training. It also provides them with access to the theoretical background of the intervention and research results. Most exciting is the section which provides the facilitators with examples of how to handle difficult situations. Sometimes I get real frustrated when I ask you to come to bed with me and you don't want to. But it's not that I don't want to, it's just that maybe I am too tired or maybe I am too busy and because I say no to you, you think that I don't love you? Okay, time out, Jackie. Um, since you're the, in the role as a listener, it's really important to be able to listen to what Calvin's saying rather than, you know, responding to him. So, and, you know, we're going we're gonna to try this again, and you're going to have the opportunity in a moment to have the floor. But right now, let's really focus on listening to what Calvin's saying and have, hearing him out in, in your role just to be able to listen to what he's saying and paraphrase to what he's saying. So why don't we try that again? Okay. Sometimes when I want you to come to bed with me. The training was excellent. Um, it gave the opportunity for the staff, uh, mainly the facilitators, uh, also the clinical supervisors, the opportunity to kind of uh, talk in an open form, forum about their, uh, their experiences in Connect. Um, and it actually gave us all a lot of room uh, to kind of learn together uh, what was the pr appropriate way to, uh, to implement the intervention and to conduct sessions with these couples. Um, and it really exceeded my ex expectations. It was a really great training. I learned a lot, uh, not only for Connect, but for just dealing with couples in general. Consider the following when thinking of implementing this intervention. Does your agency serve a population that is at risk for HIV? 
Do you have the resources to run this intervention? You will need a private space to work with couples and employees who have counseling experience and are interested in becoming Connect facilitators. And most importantly, you will need commitment for management and staff to deliver the Connect intervention. If you think Connect might be right for your organization, you probably have questions on how to implement it and what it looks like in action. We encourage you to make use of the intervention package, which includes all the materials you will need. The implementation manual will take you through the process step by step from prepping your agency to effectively selecting and training facilitators, recruiting participants, choosing materials, and holding sessions. I like the intervention because it made me think about things that I would normally wouldn't think about. And I also think it's important because it gets couples to think about using protection or discuss using protection. When they realize how Connect helped them with their lives, then, you know, passing it on to somebody else was like a challenge. It was an experience. And, you know, the feedback that I get from the couples, it was a great experience to know that they made a difference in somebody else's life from something that they learned. For more information, please contact Susan Witte, Associate Director at Columbia University Social Intervention Group,